this video is going to be on all the hamster products that I regret buying. Starting off with this Login Cabin House from Trix. Now I got this in Cyprus when on holiday and I thought it would be the perfect little home for Mickey to sleep in. It was very easy to assemble so that wasn't the issue. But it was the fact that the little door was absolutely tiny. This tiny door may fit a very slim Chinese or a little extremely small Rubovoski but other than that no other hamster could fit through there. It was absolutely too tiny and Mickey couldn't even squeeze through the door. If we also turn it over and analyse it the other way, the actual sleeping space is quite small and your hamster are probably quite cramped and uncomfortable in that. For those reasons I do not recommend you buy it and if you do have it I would recommend you don't use it in case your hamster does get stuck through the tiny door. Next product we regret buying is this green Sputnik and this is probably something that the majority of people are going to disagree with me because it's known to be a great product. Now there's a few reasons why my hamsters do not like it and the first one is because they're all in tank style cages so there are no bars for them to climb up and reach it and if I was to put it on the ground you may see it's a very wide toy and it would take up so much floor space. Even though my hamsters live in really big cages I just don't see the point on putting such a large toy in which my hamsters really aren't fussed. And that leads us on to the second point. I've never seen my hamster go in this. I've left it out for playtime and I've never ever seen them sit in it. I don't know, I think they're a bit confused by the design. I've seen them go under it, but I've never actually seen them sit in it. Um, I'm yet to see either of them do that. But I do continuously still leave it out in playtime, just hoping that they may sit in it and take interest. I've also tried putting tissue bedding in it and hung it from Mickey's old cage, which had bars, and he wasn't fussed. I never saw him go on it. So, yeah, that's the reasons why I regret buying it. Um, it was £4 from Relicals Pet Store, but I know you can find them on like Zoo Plus for £2 or something. They're quite cheap, but for something that my hamsters don't like, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you are going to buy it and you've heard good reviews and your hamster is quite a good bar climber and you think they take interest in a house, if you do have two hamsters, you can easily make it a house for two. So you can make that a little igloo and that's something as well to hide under or you can hang it like that as a sort of hammock. So it's good in that use and it's not too expensive and it's easy to clean. So it's not a bad product, it's just literally that my hamsters do not like it. The next product I regret buying was this Norit straw from again Small and Furry I think but neither of my hamsters have taken any notice to it and I've heard a lot of people say my hamster doesn't like chewing but they chew this um, but as you may be able to see Mickey's taken no notice to it and because it's Mickey's I'm not going to share it with Misty but Mickey tends to chew a lot of things and he's a really good hamster to test out chew toys and stuff on but he's taken no notice to this even though it is um, flavoured so really he should like it but he just doesn't but Mickey like I said hasn't even tried to chew it or anything like that so I just yeah it's a bit of a waste of money and it was four pounds so it was quite expensive the next thing that I regret buying are these elf alpha carrots and I got these from the range small and furry I think and the hamsters paid little interest to them at first as a few of the edges have been chewed so they did pay a little interest to it at first as you can see there but after a bit they just got extremely bored of them and they just didn't take any interest. So these are something that my hamsters got bored of with five minutes. They did find the tassels at the end quite entertaining. I could see a rabbit or guinea pig loving these but just my hamsters they haven't suited them. So the reason why it's in my regret buying is probably because I've bought it and it's not really fit for the purpose of my hamsters is it's more like a guinea pig and rabbit treat. But nevertheless, they do enjoy playing with these little tassels when I do put them in. So they're not a total waste of money, but they're just not something that my hamsters are really interested in. The next thing I got was this Ball Rush Ball, and I got this from the Woodlands range, which is from Pets at Home. So it's basically a little ball with a bit of straw or whatever's on it, and it's meant to rattle, but it doesn't make much of a rattling noise. But neither of my hamsters are fussed at all. They have tried to... Um, chew it the first time they got it and then they just lost interest completely it's a bit big for them like it's the size of Misty so maybe I should have known that when I was going to buy it so it would probably be a good product to buy if you have a rabbit or guinea pig um, but not really a hamster a Syrian hamster may be able to push it and have fun but I know my dwarfs are way too small for that but yeah I regret buying this um, just because my hamsters really dislike it the next product that I regret buying is this Activity Assault Corp bridge thing which I got from Boredom Breaker. I paid £12 from the Pet Hunt. I know in Via Vet you can get them for 8 or something so they're not too expensive. 
but they are when you get them from your local pet store. So I got this for both of the houses to enjoy during playtime. They've both been out for playtime loads of times recently and neither of them are fussed at all. They can't even climb it, they can't even get to the top at all. But I am also talking about dwarf hamsters, so it may be different for a Syrian, I don't know. These pieces that are like little um, pieces or grips to climb up, they've also come off on the other side and a piece just fell off, so there you go, shows you the rubbish quality of it. If I was to lift it up, they'd both collapse. Um, like that. This one, this one's stable in, but the other one isn't. But yeah, it's just not safe, and I just don't recommend you buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> the next product that I regret buying is this huge flying saucer, and that is just. I'm not going to tell you how bad the product is because it's not bad at all. My hamsters simply can't push it. They can't push it because they are too small. Both of them and Lily. Lily the guest has tried it as well and neither of them can do it. So I've tried it on three different dwarfs and I don't know whether mine is just really weak or whether um, you have to be super strong to push it. But my dwarfs have really struggled to push it and it's also been quite hard to find storage for it because it's so big. It's a safe wheel and I love flying saucers so I'm not trying to put off this product just because my hamsters can't push it. If you have a Syrian hamster I would highly recommend it as I know Syrians are like this big and they will take up most of it so I would really recommend you do get it for a Syrian hamster alongside an 11 inch wheel but for a dwarf it's simply too big you could try it out this isn't a horrible product and there's nothing wrong with it simply that my hamsters are too small to push it the last product that I do not recommend is actually a treat and this is the strawberry sticks from the naturals range and usually I love the naturals range but these just don't appetise to my dwarfs at all. I don't know, maybe it's too bland, but my hamsters aren't fussed, so on that basis I wouldn't recommend it for any hamster because neither of my hamsters will eat it, including Lily. So thanks for watching guys, I hope I've given you some ideas on what products to avoid. I'm sorry if it's been more of a downy video because it's mainly me whinging about products, which isn't great, but it's to give you all an idea on what sort of products to avoid in the market. But like I said, some of the products have absolutely nothing wrong. It's literally my hamsters are not fussed. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.